sometimes you're successful sometimes you're not successful and i hope this time i am we are successful because the team has worked very hard so many directors from tamil industry have done their first hindi film with me director from telugu industry have done their first hindi film with me so like jeeva did his first film with me prabhu deva first hindi film he did with me ajit has given his best vinod has given his best ibran has given his best the other supporting actor manju warrior has done well it just shows the kind of faith and confidence ajit and vinod had in me and i had in them and it's been a good journey and i hope there are more films to follow sometimes in future well let's see this is something which i'm undecided it certainly will be dubbed in hindi for the ott platform and the tele- uh, satellite channels i am boni kapoor z studios and me have produced this film tunivu releasing on the 11th in tamil nadu and across different states and in overseas too i hope you all go to the theaters to watch the film enjoy the film as we've enjoyed making the film how can i say i can't distinguish between my films see it's like asking a father which son is your favorite or which child is your favorite i enjoy the journey of film making whether it's tunivu or valimai or nirkonda parvai or ninji ki nidhi vitla vishesham maidan mili mr india whatever i mean no entry all the films have been a very enjoyable trip and only when you enjoy the process of your work it reflects in your work sometimes you're successful sometimes you're not successful and i hope this time i am we are successful because the team has worked very hard ajit has given his best vinod has given his best jibran has given his best the other supporting actor manju warrior has done looked very glamorous and done her best uh, then the other actors too have given their best so let's hope everybody's good work is applauded and everybody reacts very positively well it just shows the kind of faith and confidence ajit and vinod had in me and i had in them and it's been a good journey and i hope there are more films to follow sometimes in future well it should it will because you see good product need needs to be shown across the globe across the world across the country first then the globe in fact my film no entry was a remake of a tamil film charlie chaplin and i remember they were inquiries from other countries also to acquire the rights from me so it's something which uh, there should not be any taboos there's nothing wrong in remaking even you know hollywood also remakes films in fact 10 commandments was made a couple of times by the same director banner was you know there are so many so many instances so many films which have been made earlier than remade and sometimes a japanese like seven samurai was made into magnificent seven so there are uh, so many french films have been made into english so many spanish films have been made into korean films today are very popular they are made into several languages so there's nothing wrong in remakes of course the remake trend has slowed down a little because of the ott because on ott you get the various languages which uh, which the audience are uh, able to consume for instance a spanish film is dubbed in hindi too a spanish film is dubbed in english too so the audience across countries they can consume it they enjoy it and they understand there are so many television shows like there is one uh, television show from turkey etragul which has been which has about 560 episodes and i've seen all the 560 episodes and that has been dubbed in several languages it's about the rise of ottoman empire very interesting very well shot similarly there are so many other you know like money heist has been dubbed in so many languages i mean various shows have been dubbed the loudest voice is something which i enjoyed so there are various shows even hindi indian shows i know i was sh- i i was shooting in georgia for our mom and i could see our hindi serials shown in the local language so whether it's a remake or a dub this trend will continue a remake perhaps perhaps will slow down a little but it will not die off like drishyam was made originally in malayalam 
it was made in telugu and both the versions were released on ott platform yet when it released in hindi in theatrical theaters it's still running and doing very well it is done a business over 230 240 crores and the run continues so that's a remake too and it's a remake of a film which has been made in originally in malayalam then in telugu now in hindi and i'm sure somebody will make it a, make it in tamil too well let's see this is something which i'm undecided it certainly will be dubbed in hindi for the ott platform and the tele, uh, satellite channels theatrically i uh, i didn't want to because you know there was i didn't want to rush into dubbing in the hindi version we are releasing the dub version in telugu but not in hindi theatrically but on ott and satellite we'll have the dubbed version yes why not see that way actors will have a lot more exposure like allu arjun's film pushpa has done well uh, prabhas's film bahubali 1 bahubali 2 had done well so today they are actors who are recognized all over and then there is junior ntr who's r triple r and ramcharan in triple r similarly ajay devgan doing the trip uh, tri- triple r in the telugu version alia bhat so and alia bhat now doing a hollywood film to uh, like deepika has done priyanka has done so there is a lot of interaction lot of uh, actors who are doing films in various languages even across into the western world some of them have like my brother has done uh, a couple of films right from danny boyles anil has done slum dog millionaire irfan khan did a couple of english films jurassic world and namesake and uh, life of pi there are so many films that tabu has done so it's the, the world basically has shrunk with the satellite television now it is shrunk further with ott so there's no harm for actors to work across different mediums different languages and it's happening so it's good well the plan will be revealed soon as of now i'm just working on a few projects so let's see in some time probably it will be out in the public domain well i i don't i don't believe in that basically i feel it is the content which rules the minds of the audience although why would uh, love today do so well why would manratnam's film do that well and in the past also several films have done well without without known actors so i don't think yes there are they are popular they are very popular so all these popular actors are almost like center forward in a football game or a hockey game only if they get a good pass they can score a goal so which means content is always important and it will remain important for me content is number 1 then rest follows i will definitely be glad to work with newcomers i have done that in hindi and i will continue doing that in whichever language i make films depending on the kind of subject the the director or the writer comes up with i am i have always i have given breaks to so many new directors so many directors from tamil industry have done their first hindi films with me director from telugu industry have done their first hindi film with me so like jeeva did his first film with me prabhu deva first hindi film he did with me bapu garu did his first hindi film with me agathyan did his first hindi film with me surya did the only hindi film with me so there are many such instances i don't even recall vamshi from telugu did his hindi film with me they had never done any hindi film before so i don't really have a mindset you know i will work only with this director or this actor or i will only work with stars i have done films with newcomers too or upcoming actors too and i will continue that's something the subject has got to appeal for me it is subject which matters the most sometimes i'm right sometimes i go wrong well it's a very transparent distribution company and it has uh, impeccable record and it has a today it it ha- commands good respect from the exhibitors and they get the best terms and there's a there's you know they have a fantastic business acumen they know the potential of each area area each theater so which is the hallmark of a good distribution company and that's what red giant is well i have uh, posted what i felt i've expressed myself in the in the best way i could i can't be going to rooftops and shouting i have expressed it on my post it is for the audience to understand i leave it to them to understand and i hope they rightly understand what i meant to express 
I was happy. I am happy. And I hope I remain happy even post-release. Well, that's something very personal. I would not, would not like to share anything which is not in public domain. Our relationship is sacred and let it, I want it to remain sacred. Well, I don't have any thoughts on it as of now. Let's see what holds in future, but definitely no biopic.